Hi, it's Victoria Rose. The past couple weeks have been fun and I wanted to show you a few of the things that I did in my last in my last moments here in Japan. So I'm going to show you some stuff that I did right before I left and then we're gonna get on to me actually leaving and why I left and we're gonna combine this whole one video. Let's get on to my last week in Japan. I want to start off by giving a shout out to Ryan, my friend and follower, for sponsoring this video. This past year has been life-changing in so many ways, ways that I haven't even talked about on social media. You don't have to travel to find yourself, but you do have to get out of your comfort zone because only then can you really see the bigger picture. And I feel like the past year has been a lot of that for me. And I want to share all this with you someday. For now, this is where we're at. We're at a vegan festival in Tokyo, which is actually very strange because there's not a lot of vegans in Tokyo. It's a very un-vegan place to be. But where else can you get vegan octopus balls? I had to try them. Especially because one of the ingredients said sky, and I, I don't know what that is, and blue glue. Hi. I also had to pick up a meat stick because they were on sale, because of course we were late to the festival. <laughs> it's a, I don't know what it'd normally be called, but this is a like, mock meat stick. <laughs> and this is mock octopus sauce. Yeah. But this is what it looks like. Ew. This is what it looks like. It's probably the blue glue. That's the blue glue, isn't it? <laughs> it must be. <laughs> Yeah, the weird the blue sky. I love my half assed swimming right now. <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> it's good. I think vegan food's done much better here. I'm a vegan festival. <laughs> On one of the last days in Japan, I went to this free media sensory communications thing with Haptic, and we had a lot of fun there. It was very interesting. I want to give a shout out to Haptic for showing me so many cool things in the world and in Tokyo. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have learned nearly as much as I have. We went to a 2D cafe as one of the last things to do, and I really wanted to try a drink from there. And let me tell you, it was actually really, really good. I got a kiwi drink with tapioca balls. It wasn't on the menu, but I didn't want to get a dairy drink and they were nice enough to make it for me. So good. I feel like I'm always packing and unpacking and always leaving somewhere. And I always have to throw away stuff every time I move. Uh, I threw away a lot of stuff this time. The day I left was pretty sad. It was hard to say goodbye and be alone again. Whenever I first moved to Los Angeles, I came with only two suitcases, and I try to keep everything down to just two suitcases. It's weird for me to be completely alone again. I felt like I worked so hard to surround myself with people, but sometimes life changes. I don't want to start all over again, though. I used to hate flying because it's so long and boring, but now I kind of appreciate it because it's like a calm before the challenges that are ahead of you. I mean, it's still kind of long and boring though, but airports are kind of like a whole nother world.
I had to fly domestic to the Osaka airport before I could connect to my next destination. I booked my flight to Sydney, Australia. Um, because I've always wanted to come to go to Australia. It's been on my goal list of places I've wanted to live since I was so young. And I've never come here because it's super expensive flight from America. And it wasn't as expensive a flight from Japan. I had to go. And it was kind of shocking because it's like, you're here, you're here, you're here. And then it's just like all of a sudden you have to leave. I had like, and I'm like, okay, I have to go. And I'll explain more why I actually had to leave. I'm in the airport in Osaka right now, heading for Sydney, Australia. I don't think I've said that yet. So I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm going here and why I can't be in Japan anymore and what's going on. I have like a two, three hour layover. So I had to go from Narita Airport to the Osaka Airport. It's taken me like the whole day to get here and now I'm gonna have an overnight flight to Sydney. And I'll show you what the overnight flight looks like and everything. Um, but probably like a nine to 10 hour flight. I feel like I've already been traveling for so long. We're going to Sydney, Australia, so come on. I had a quick meal before the flight, just some egg and yes, some Greek yogurt. I'm just trying it out. I've never seen these types of headphones on a flight before and it came with a really nice pillow and a really nice blanket. So that's a major plus. <laughs> I wasn't extremely happy about the menu, but I figured I'd eat it anyways because I, I don't have any other choice. It was linguine with some vegetables and a bun and I got apple juice, which it tasted good, but I'd rather not eat that much gluten. One thing that's been extremely hard for me to learn is to be flexible. and. That's just what I've tried to do with food too, because sometimes you don't have any other option. In the morning, they served breakfast, which I just got some orange juice, some fruit, and then a little rice triangle, which was my last one of those. I don't know when I'll ever have one again, but it was pickled plum. After traveling forever, I finally arrived and I had an Uber to the city center. I had to wait because I couldn't check into my hotel until like 2 and I had land at 7 something. So I was so tired and just felt really gross. Even though I've learned flexibility, there's some things that I still try really hard to do, like wash my face, and I couldn't do that until I found a bathroom. I used the soap that I got from the Love Hotel and just tried to feel more human. The reason that I left Japan, obviously, is because uh, I stayed there a long time and I didn't have a uh, visa, so I was just on my passport. And on your passport, you can only stay there a certain number of days per year. And I had expended all of those days stayed in the year um, and also in the three months I was allowed to be there. Because this whole time that I've been here, it's been three months have passed already. And I left on the very last day that I could that was on my passport that I had to leave. So I've made a lot of Japan content. I've done a lot of the things that I wanted to do in Japan. And I'm very happy about that. I'm happy I got to experience the country. I'm going to make a pros and cons of living in Japan video. Um, if you guys really want it. So comment below if you really want that. Now that I am in Australia, it's so different. <laughs> it's another culture shock. It's so big, but I don't think that Japan is somewhere that I would want to live long term. Or you have to really adapt to the culture if you're going to stay there like long term. And if you don't, then you're going to feel kind of lonely and isolated. You guys know I've been hopping around the most expensive cities in the world for some reason. I don't know why. It's because I just like them. <laughs> Obviously, there's a reason they're expensive. This is the new adventure. I have things in store and planned for this trip to Sydney. Don't know how long I'm gonna stay here yet. Hopefully uh, the whole three months I'm allowed to. I'm kind of in shock about everything because it was such a 
quick transition to like, hey, I'm solo traveling all by myself again to a new country I've never been to, an English speaking huge country. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's been a, a bit difficult, honestly, to, to transition. I don't have a home. I don't have an actual home. So it's difficult sometimes to feel secure. The journey here has been very eye-opening and, and I feel like I've learned so much. I'm scared. I'm nervous, I'm lonely, I'm, I don't want, like I'm going to show you guys how it really is. My next video will really portray that probably as well. If you are planning on traveling solo, you know, there's ups and downs to it and I want to reveal all of that to you, not just one portion of it. Traveling to a new country all alone by yourself is intimidating and it does get hard sometimes and I want to show that to you guys. There's reasons that, and I'll go over this maybe in a different video at a different time, that I uh, am the way that I am um, mentally and socially. Things are a little bit more difficult for me. The move has been hard. I wanna show you Australia in general, not just Sydney. I wanna travel around Australia. It's just sometimes it's hard to be alone in these times. And I'm grateful for you guys, so thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming with me on this new journey. Hopefully everything goes good. Stay extraterrestrial, I love you very much. I'll see you in the next video.